So in this video, I want to talk about rules of inference. Uh, so this again is, is totally syntactic. Um, so let's just kind of uh, give a reminder. So, so given, uh, given a, a signature, Uh, we've talked about uh, talked about the following: how to form the language of formulas. Uh, we've talked about bounded and free variables. Okay, so let me just write something down. Okay, so this one's bounded, this one's free. Uh, we've talked about uh, contexts. So variables that, so context for this would be like why. Uh, so, and then we've also talked about uh, the symbol here for theories. So this deduction symbol. Okay, and so what we want to do now is talk about, uh, so we want to talk about how to, the, the, the rules for uh, deriving um, uh, new, uh, let's say, deductions uh, from old ones. Okay, so all possible deductions, so all possible deductions, so all deductive statements and this is syntactical, it has no meaning, okay, these are just symbols here, okay, is formulas where uh, this guy and this guy are in the language here uh, with a shared context X. Okay, so maybe this could be a tuple of things. Okay, so all deductive statements are all possible strings like this. So this, sh this should be considered as a, a string. Um, okay, so starting from a set of formula, we can ask, so these are all possible. This is like the crazy ones, but inside here we can have, uh, so we can have certain formula. Uh, derived from a, a, a given set of statements of uh, statements. and rules. Okay, and these rules will be the rules for rules of inference. And so there's there's different ways we can, um, uh, different rules we can take, and there's different starting statements that we can state. So it's kind of like we're spanning a set of statements, um, or we're do, we start with some statements, and then we're kind of going to build all the other statements that we can do from this. Okay, so there's kind of, um, so so we can start We start with some uh, T, okay, and this thing will be contained in uh, this uh, all deductive statements here. This is what we call the theory before. Um, and, okay, so we also talked about um, Oh, let's see, we have this. Okay, and then so now I need to talk about what inference rules are, okay? We, we start about starting with this. So uh, so th there are, okay, we have these, and then uh, there's kind of symbols that we're going to, to attach to, to uh, these rules for derivation. So there's one symbol, so the, the, let me give some notation. 
Okay, to, so we're going to try and form this set here, the set of formula that we're going to derive, and we're going to write down some rules of inference. So if we have two things, so these guys could be in here, okay? And so it's, it's, this one says, uh, so if you have P, uh, if P is given, uh, then throw in Q. Okay, and uh, the other thing that you could use is you could so have something like this. Okay, so this is a, so this means both and uh, this one. Uh, so it goes both ways. Okay, so so what's the idea? So we're going to start with some of these. We're going to use rules of deduction, which are going to be of this form, or they're going to be more statements that we throw in here. And then we're going to try and derive uh, this, this guy here. So a certain set of formulas derived from this. And depending on what rules you allow, um, you're going to get different statements here. Okay, so this is kind of like a zoo of things. And, um, and now I, I'm just going to... So it's, it takes very long to write down, so I'm just going to kind of... Uh, write it down, but we'll skip ahead. So, um, okay. So the uh, rules of inference. So here are the rules of inference. Uh, so depending on your uh, version of logic, um, uh, you're going to add different things to your theory. So like, again, as before, we're going to have kind of algebraic rules of deduction. Then you can have horn and you can have, uh, regular rules of deduction, and then you can have coherent rules of deduction. Um, uh, so it's, it's all the same thing as, as that, that we had before. Um, maybe I'll, I'll flash this other version up. So here's the picture again of, of, of what our formulas are allowed to look like. And so, for example, the smallest formulas are these atomic ones. And so so we're going to add the finite conjunction and the the for 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 horn logic. Okay, so the for, horn horn fragment of logic is going to add the rules for true and and. Um, the regular version of logic is is going to add the you know the rule for the existential quantifier and so on. Uh, so for example, when we want to add the existential quantifier, we'll add in um, this part here this rule. So, okay, so then within coherent, uh, it branches off into uh, geometric uh, and then intuitionist and then uh, classical. So classical, uh, the final one is where they have they include this 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 rule here. Okay, so the again the basic idea is that um, you're you're going to add formulas for whatever the symbols are allowed in that that I that uh, uh, that fragment of first order logic. So these things are called fragments. Uh, first order logic. 